Hey now, it's your boy Gorilla Gamer bringing you your Florida Man news for May 25th, 2023. Man, let's get started. Florida Man shrugs off losing arm and alligator attack. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> he shrugs it off, does he? Does he? Really? A Florida man whose right arm was bitten off by a 10-foot alligator brushed off losing a limb in the attack. Yeah, because as he puts it, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, we... We, um, I, I read this article earlier this week, but I thought it would be interesting to s hear his thoughts on the matter of gator mating season 2023, baby. Yep. Uh, Jordan Riviera, 23, fell into a pond behind Bandito's Bar in Port Charlotte on Sunday, shortly before 2 a.m., according to NBC and Fort Myers. I didn't lose my life, I lost my arm. It's not the end of the world, Riviera told the news outlet during the interview with, from the hospital bed in Gulf Coast Medical Center. Those gators, I didn't truly understand them until I woke up in the hospital. And, oh, a, a gator got your arm, Riviera said. He added about partially losing his right arm. They got my elbow, so I don't have an elbow, Riviera said. I, still, I can still move my arm around and whatnot. A spokesperson for the Charlotte County Fire and EMS said personnel responded to an alligator attack around 1.40 a.m. The responding crew treated a male patient who had an above-elbow amputation of his upper right extremity. By standards, applied a tourniquet to the patient before we arrived. The patient was airlifted to Gulf Coast Medical Center in Fort Myers. Man, that's awesome. People were able to work so quick and figure, you know, he needed a tourniquet and all that stuff. That's pretty rad. Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission trappers found and removed the gator that attacked Riviera. It measured nearly 10 and a half feet and was euthanized. Of course, we don't want him uh, doing this again. Once they uh, get the taste of, of arm, they don't, they got to be put down. Riviera told the TV news outlet he doesn't remember the attack itself, but recalls going out and back because the line to the bar's bathroom was too long and he needed to relieve himself. So he was just going to piss on, he was probably pissing on the gator's fucking head. <laughs> Lucky he didn't get his dick bit off. As I was going over there, something happened. Either I just got tripped up or the ground below me just went down, Riviera said. I ended up in the water and that's literally the last thing I remember. He then woke up in the hospital disoriented and shot. Confusion, I was like, whoa, because I just woke up and I was sitting here and I looked over and saw my arm and it was the way it was and I was like whoa he said it kind of feels like my arm is just there but not there yeah that's called the phantom limb brother um it's uh jerk off with the other arm it's called the stranger <laughs> Teresa Lessa Riviera's mother told WBBH said she's thankful to have her son alive we're thankful he's alive too I'm just busting balls that's the best thing. Uh, that's the best thing is that I have him. Yes, arm gone, very traumatic, but he's here. Lessa said, "What happened to him?" Riviera said, "Is almost out of a movie." He said, "He's beholden to the people who rushed him to his aid and applied the tourniquet." Just like I said, Lessa praised the good Samaritans who helped save her son's life. I call them angels. They were there and saved his life. The chance of someone being there with the tourniquet to me is a miracle, and then it's a miracle that he's here. So there you have it. Um, next time, don't go pissing on alligators' heads and slipping down into their uh, domiciles there, buddy. But we're glad to have you. Uh, we didn't want to lose another Florida man. God knows we don't have enough of them down here. So glad you're doing well. Glad you're on the mend, Riviera. Hey, tonight, 9 p.m., the Reaction Project, Episode 3 on the YouTubes. Your host, Gigi, will be there. Yep, we're going to take some Discord callers. So I will see you then. Girl Gamer, out.